some relationships are meant to be, being all perfect and everything. Some of them just seem like they're happy, but there are some challenges going on. But for others, it's just shaky from the beginning. One such relationship is the one between the famous Pirates of the Caribbean actor Johnny Depp and the Aquaman actress Amber Heard. This has been one rocky relationship, and it still is, given that they are currently in court over a defamation case filed by Johnny Depp. However, you may be wondering how far back they go. Well, let's find out. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Join us as we take a look at the complete timeline of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's relationship. After Johnny Depp lost a high-profile libel case against the publishers of The Sun newspaper over a 2018 article that referred to him as a wife-beater, he shortly announced that he had been asked to resign from the Fantastic Beasts 3 movie. He was replaced by the Danish actor Mads Mikkelsen in November. This was after weeks of speculation over who would take control. Since then, Depp has been denying the allegations of abusing his ex-wife Amber Heard. However, he was denied permission to appeal the court's ruling in March 2021. According to the Court of Appeal judges, the original hearing was full and fair, and the trial judge gave thorough reasons for his conclusions, which have not been shown even arguably to be vitiated by any error, approach, or mistake of law. Before we get to what's going on now, let's take a look at Depp's relationship. Before Depp was with Amber Heard, he was previously with Winona Ryder from 1989 to 1993, Kate Moss from 1994 to 1998, and Vanessa Paradis from 1998 to 2012. However, his relationship with Heard began soon after they met on the set of The Rum Diary in 2009. By then, Heard was in a relationship with photographer and painter Tazia Van Rie, which had gone on for four years from 2008 to 2012. When Depp and Heard met on set, Depp was playing Paul Kemp, who was a journalist who took a job in Puerto Rico in The Rum Diary. The movie was based on Hunter S. Thompson's book of the same name. On the other hand, Heard plays Chanel a woman who was engaged to another man and who Kemp is immediately attracted to as soon as he sees her. In 2011, Heard commented on this period to Vogue, saying, Working with Johnny was torture. It was better than I ever imagined, which is really saying something. Later on in 2012, the two started dating. According to a court filing, Heard noted that she and Dev started dating around the end of 2011 or the start of 2012. 2012 was also the year when Depp and his longtime partner Paradis publicly announced their separation, after 14 years of dating. By then, Depp had two children with Paradis, Lily Rose, who was born in 1989, and John Christopher, born in 2002. At the same time, Heard called it quits with her partner, Tazia. According to USA Today, Heard was arrested in 2009 on a charge of physically assaulting then-girlfriend, Van Rie, at Seattle Tacoma International Airport in Washington. The two had gotten into a disagreement after Heard allegedly grabbed and hit Van Rie's arm. However, all charges were dropped, with Van Rie herself claiming that Heard was wrongfully accused when the cops misinterpreted and over-sensationalized the incident. Fast forward to 2014, when Heard was spotted wearing an engagement ring. After a picture emerged of the actress with an ornate engagement ring, People Magazine reported that she and Depp were engaged. Later on, Depp seemed to confirm the engagement during a video interview with the Daily Mail. During this interview, he discussed wedding planning and even pointed out that he was wearing a chick's ring on his finger. A year later, the two got married in a private ceremony. This was after dating for years, ever since 2012. Depp and Heard had a private ceremony in their home in LA, with People Magazine reporting some ceremony photos. The two had a great time with each other, and they seemed to be happy. In 2015, the couple breached Australia's biosecurity laws. This was after they failed to declare their dogs, which were Yorkshire Terriers, upon their arrival to the country. However, they later released an apology video together. However, the couple only stayed married for a year before Heard filed for a divorce. Heard filed for divorce from Depp on May 23, 2016. Four days later, she was searching for a temporary restraining order against the then-Oscar-nominated actor. Heard did this claiming that Depp had physically abused her during her relationship. She also claimed that he would hurt her every time he was high on drugs or alcohol. She claimed that on May 21st, which was two days before she filed for the divorce, an incident had recently happened where Depp threw his phone at her. She claims that this left her with a bruised face. However, according to a police spokesman who spoke to People Magazine, an investigation was held into the domestic incident radio call, but it was found that no crime had taken place. Depp went on to deny the accusations. Through his representative, he said that Heard was attempting to secure a premature financial resolution by alleging abuse. Soon after, on August 16th, 2016, the two reached a $7 million settlement out of court. Heard was seen testifying under oath during a deposition. 
However, she later withdrew a request for a domestic violence restraining order, and they eventually reached a settlement. She also canceled a request for spousal support of $50,000 per month. In a joint statement, Depp and Hurd said, Our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. After the divorce was completed, Hurd received $7 million, of which she donated all of it to charity. The divorce was later finalized in 2017. This was a year after Hurd filed for divorce. Hurd got to keep the dogs that caused them a scandal in 2015 back in Australia. On the other hand, Depp remained sole ownership of all properties, including his private island in the Bahamas and his collection of classic cars and motorcycles. According to The Hollywood Reporter, a non-disparagement clause was inserted into the settlement. This prevented either party from saying anything negative about their relationship or the breakup. In December 2018, Heard claimed that she was a victim of domestic abuse in an op-ed that she wrote for the Washington Post. She also talked about the treatment of women in domestic abuse cases. In the article, Heard wrote, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who spoke out. However, she did not mention Depp anywhere in the article. On the other hand, Depp sued Heard for $50 million, claiming that she defamed him in the op-ed that she wrote. This was in 2019. According to the suit, Heard was just a perpetrator and not a victim of domestic abuse. Instead, the suit said that Heard's allegations were part of a scheme to generate positive publicity for her. During a court filing that attempted to dismiss Depp's defamation suit, Heard claimed to have been abused multiple times during her marriage to Depp. She referred to Depp as the monster. Heard even claimed to have scars on her arms and feet, which she claims are from an incident where Depp threw her through a ping pong table before dragging her through broken glass. This case is still ongoing. However, there has been evidence in the form of phone recordings that were released. The phone recordings which were released in January of Heard admitting to hitting Depp. In the phone recordings, Heard is heard saying, I'm sorry that I didn't hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. In the same recording, Depp is heard saying, I left last night. Honestly, I swear to you, just because I couldn't take the idea of more physicality, more physical abuse on each other. There has been a lot going on between Depp and Heard. And from these proceedings, you can tell that it was not a smooth relationship. Right now, they're in court about the defamation of Depp in the 2018 op-ed. In this case, a lot is being uncovered about the two, with evidence that is implicating the two of them. They both seem like victims, and they both seem like they abused the other at some point in their relationship. However, we can only wait and see how this case goes. What do you think of this relationship? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.